Welcome to Pantheon of the Geeks. Ooh. If you've watched a Jack o' Lantern video, you'll have seen how we made this. Ooh. We're not going to tell you what to do with the interior, or well, at least what we're going to do with the interior. We're going to attempt to make pumpkin pie. Do you like that Jack o' Lantern? Yes. Cool. So rather than waste the interior that we scooped out of this, apparently we've got enough to make a pumpkin pie, something I've never made before. So we're going to do that, and I'm going to show you how we do that. So um, let's get cracking. Right, so the first thing to do is grab ourselves a saucepan. There we are. And get the uh, contents of the pumpkin, which is there. Cool. That we haven't left that since the last video. We have uh, literally just filmed these two videos together, so don't leave it too long. So in that goes. So, and we're going to boil this up. So we're going to um, cover this in water and then we're going to um, let that boil for about 15 minutes or so and then we're going to uh, take it from there. So we're back in one second. Right, so yeah, now that's filled with water, we're just going to leave that for 15 minutes. We'll make you watch this for 15 minutes. Using the power of camera, we're going to skip ahead 15 minutes in time. Ready? Time warp! Right, so you're going to want to roll out some pastry, so I've used a rolling pin to roll out... Oh, that, that there. No, just use a rolling pin. No, I haven't. But you can use a rolling pin to roll some pastry out. There you go, see? <laughs> that easy. Or you can just buy this, just roll stuff and uh, use that instead. <laughs> so you're going to want some short crust pastry. So however you make it, you want to make a short crust pastry. And um, you can also use a rolling pin, that's what that was for. Um, we found out we had some of this just rolling, so we decided we're going to use that instead. It'd be cheap, so why not? Well, we weren't sure what it was. So it's pre-rolled. Never used it before. Yeah. No, it was pre-rolled, which kind yeah. of shocked both of us, so really. Obviously, you've got to thaw that out first. Yeah. Thaw it out. Even comes on a nice, handy piece of grease proof paper. So we're going to use this for the pumpkin pie. So that's how we made the pastry. We didn't. We cheated. But you can make pastry, and if you're good at making pastry, please go ahead and do. We did get some uh, Aunt Bessie's as well, yeah. Powder. We we're going to cheat with Aunt um, Bessie's. Yeah. As well. <laughs> but instead, we cheated, we just roll. Yay! Yay! So, anyway, um, the pumpkin's still boiling. We'll be back with you in a second with what to do next. Right, so we've got the uh, baking tin, which in this case is a silicon baking tin that we've got, which um, does that. Yeah, so you can see the advantage of that when you've got a cake or something like that. So um, that is a non-stick material as well, so that is going to go in there and be baked for 15 minutes. So ideally we'll let this cool, um, not quite the time to let it cool, but let it cool. And then we want to uh, push this through the sieve and puree it. So I've got my health and masher, I'm going to mash it up. And I'm going to puree this uh, pumpkin to death. So I'll be back when I've done that. So, while we're waiting for the uh, the oven to finish baking the first part of the, uh, the tart, if you will, uh, the short crust tart, uh, we're just going to get this ready. So, back in a moment. So we need two eggs, so we're going to beat these two eggs. And there's one. And there's a two. Normally use a metal or a glass bowl, but that's what we've got. And they need to go in the bin. So, just, uh, so we're going to beat these two eggs. So we're going to make this on, like so. So you're not going to be hearing me doing anything. I'm just going to do this with the camera off. And we're going to cut to the eggs being beaten. Go! So we need to melt 25 grams of butter, which is there, which is the low pack range of cooking butter if anyone's interested. Um, any butter will do. Melting. What we're going to do, we're beating the eggs. We're going to beat them a bit more in a second. What we have to do is add this into there. We have to add some cinnamon into there and some nutmeg into there. There we go, cinnamon and nutmeg. Brand new bottles and Swartz's if anyone's interested. And what does the recipe require? It requires um, is it a tablespoon of both? Tablespoon of both. I'm going to double up on the cinnamon because I like cinnamon. Me too. So, Me too. Um, 
that's nearly melted no we don't want to let it burn we just want to melt it So that's melted pretty much. So we can turn that off for now. And so we're going to pop all the ingredients in here now and we're going to mix them together. Okay, so we're going to put some, a tablespoon of salt in that. We want a tablespoon of um, cinnamon. cinnamon. I'm going to double up on this because. Teaspoon, sorry. Uh, not tablespoon. One half a tablespoon of nutmeg, grated, but we're going to use ground. We'll get this one as well. And then we want the eggs which are already in, and we want the melted butter, which is now melted quite nicely in that. And then we're going to mix all this together. Um, we also need some caster sugar. Is it 450 grams of caster sugar? That's good. 175 millilitres of milk. Oh, milk goes in. Yep, so we've got some milk. It's going in. 175 millilitres. So we're going to mix this together. Then we'll add the sugar in the Put the sugar in. Lots of sugar in this. So we've mixed all that together and now we want to put the pumpkin puree in, which we've pretty much pureed, using a matcher rather than a sieve. There we go, that's going to go in. Now we're going to mix all that together. So off we go again, prepared to cut. So we've mixed that together, we're left with the bits of pumpkin which didn't puree, still on the uh, on the whisk of that, so we'll switch that off, safety first. And then um, this now needs to be poured into the tart base. So we'll get that and we'll pour that in. Just move some stuff out of the way. Back in a second. Right, so here's the tartlet. It's uh, reduced in size somewhat. Uh, if I want to put it in. So I'm going to get a really mix in that. Don't want to overdo it. I think that'll do. Got some spare left over there. That is the colour it shows on the diagram that I'm using, so I'm hoping that's going to be alright. Now the oven needs to be at 220 now for um, 10 minutes at least, and then you take the temperature down to 180 degrees, uh, 180 degrees Celsius, fan, gas, for, and what kind of my, uh, sorry, oven that you're using. And you want to continue to bake that after the first 10 minutes for another 35 to 40 minutes until it's set. So we're going to do that now, and we can skip that 35 minutes with the magic of camera. See you in a moment. Okay, so it's now been in nearly 40 minutes. It's jiggling a bit. Mm -hmm. So we're going to leave that out mate. There we go. So we've got to let that cool first, we'll do the next stage. So we're back for you and that's cool down. Okay, so here's the finished product. We have um, icing sugar in here and cinnamon, just topped at the top. And the pumpkin overseeing the, uh, the pumpkin pie, kind of in a morbid fashion there. But um, yeah, so if you want to make this yourself, it's actually in the BBC Good Food Guide recipe, bbc.co.uk. Uh, check that out. I'll leave the ingredients in the description underneath the video. Okay, so you can see what you need to make it. But um, yeah, if you're interested at all, BBC Good Food Guide. And um, we're going to cut into this now. Mm -hmm. and see what it tastes like. Mm. But yeah, it seems to have set quite well. Oh, good. Uh, I'll cut it across. Okay. Like so. Okay. We're going to have a squirty cream. Squirty cream. Yes. There we go. Queen. There you go. Now it looks like something out of Minecraft. Minecraft style, I hope. <laughs> anyway, so we're gonna enjoy this. I'll let you know what we thought of it in stars at the bottom of the comments. Um, <laughs> there you go, Claire. Yeah, thank you very much. So thanks for watching. Please Bye. like and subscribe. Yeah, I'm going now. No, get it back. All right, sorry. No, not finished. Come back.
So please like and subscribe if you want to see more. And um, we're also on Facebook. All right, okay. We're also on Facebook. And um, that's about right. That's what she usually does. <laughs> and on Twitter, uh, p underscore zero underscore t underscore g and g at p o t g. Twitter, yeah. Yeah. I'll include that in the bottom as well. <laughs> So thanks for watching anyway, and uh, we'll be back soon with some more some Hall with some more Halloween content. If we can talk properly. You want your pie? That's I do. What it is. <laughs> you want his pie? Bye for now. Pie. Pie.